Well, the beard's a little grayer. I'm in a little brace for some tennis elbow last year. And you know what? I just decided I'm going to spoil myself this year. And one of the things that I am spoiling myself with is the new Mencota Ultrex accessory mount. And the accessory mount is designed to make stowing and deploying the Mega 360 and the Mega Live Target Lock a little bit easier. So I probably could have just got away with it and used the other one. I'm still strong enough to do that. But at the same time, I thought, why not? They made it for a reason. It's obviously going to make people's lives easier. I actually went on YouTube to try and see if anybody had installed one of these and I haven't seen one yet. So here we go. We're going to install this mount and you're going to see the advantages of it. I'll compare it to the old one. And I think you're going to like the improvements that they made. I know that I did. So let's get right to it. And as always, if you like this video, I like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. And let's see what we did. And also I have a great tip for all regular Ultrex users. When you are putting the lift assist gas spring together, it can be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you the trick to make that super easy and I think you'll really like it. So you, you, you'll want to hang around for that. And for those of you that are going to install one of these Ultrex accessory mounts, there is now a video on YouTube to help you. So enjoy and let's get at it. Here's a quick summary of the accessories added which led to the creation of this mount. If you already have the Humminbird Mega 360, which is this here, and you are going to get the target lock, there is an optional mounting plate which will hold both the Mega 360 and will also hold the new target lock. So that is again an optional item and the beauty of this target lock system, and I'll talk more about that in another video, is that you can now see, and my mess, I guess I'm rigging, but you can also see that the Mega Live is now independent of the shaft of the trolling motor so there's lots of great features with that but more on that later this is the official name on the box for the mount if you are ordering the mega live imaging target lock and mega 360 imaging ltrex accessory mount please notice that it is specific to a 52 inch shaft so if you had a 45 inch shaft it would be slightly different so be careful when you're ordering currently this ultrax accessory mount is only available with the Minkota ultrax in the 45 and 52 inch shaft lengths it is not available in the 60 inch ultrax model the unboxing of the target lock mega 360 and mega live accessory mount looks like we've got a strap some mounting hardware, the actual bracket itself, and the instructions. These two Phillips panhead screws were in this bag with this instructions, and the bag was attached to the Allen screw, and therefore I didn't notice it in the original unboxing. Prior to taking the motor off, it gives you multiple warnings to take off the gas assist spring so that there's no tension on the motor. Prior to removing the steering module, the Allen screw circled here must be removed. In my case, I have a Jura safe lock, which I need to take off before taking the module off. The piece here in the center is known as the steering module of the Ultrex. The Allen screw goes in this hole, and this is the old mount. So we deployed the motor after disconnecting the gas spring and Basically, we took that Allen screw out. Once the Allen screw was out, then you just pop the motor straight up and the Ultrex comes off. At this point, this is the previous mount for the Ultrex and it is ready to be taken off the boat. This part here is known as the motor ramp. So there is your motor ramp. 
The safety latch circled here is located just above the motor ramp. And this is the safety latch and you can see that it moves up and down. With the safety latch held down, if you have a second person to pull on the handle and put the motor in the stow position, that will give us access to the screws to remove the mount. Now that the safety latch was held down, the motor is in the stowed position if it was still on, but you can see that now we have complete access to the mounting holes. And basically, I already had this motor off, so we just had a couple of bolts to keep it in place, for screws, I should say. Here's the new mount. And like the old one, it has this Allen screw here that is going to hold on the steering module of the Ultra. Just like on the old mount, we're going to take this safety latch and bring it down so that we can pop the motor open so that it would be in what you would consider the stowed position so that we can get access to the mounting holes on the mount. Always remember before you tighten everything down on the Ultrex mount that you don't forget your strap. Not that I've ever done that before, but I think we all have. The Ultrex accessory mount is mounted. You can see there's two, four, and six screws in. And I want you to notice that they are Robertson heads. We prefer to use those because they are just easier to snug up and reduces the chance of stripping. So we switched them out. The Allen screw must be removed before you put the Ultrex back on. Understanding the terminology when reading a manual always makes the job easier, especially when you don't do this very often. This is referred to as an end link in the manual for installing and this is referred to as an end link. The keyways pictured here will slide over the end links. The keyways are just slots that will slide over the end links. You can see here the steering module is this part up here, and you can see it's there's an end link at the bottom of the arrow there, and there's another end link at the bottom of the arrow there and the keyways on the steering module are going to slide over those end links. And you need to have the motor straight up and down to make this process easier. The length of the cable of the pull grip and cable can be adjusted based on personal preference. And at this point, I've never had an issue, so I'm just going to run with it. And if we need to adjust it later, there are instructions in the manual as to how to adjust the length of the cable. Here's the small plate at the top of the gas spring that is hard to see in the video. It's hard to see, but there's a black plate in there, and that is where the nylock nuts are that the two Phillips screws go into to secure the gas spring. And like I say, it's hard to see. Here's a good look at the lift assist spring, and you can see it's pretty substantial. It's got a nice big round profile and again it's secured in here by these two screws and not like the old mount for the Ultrex. Here's the original piece that came with the Ultrex mount and it has a Phillips screw on one end, a Phillips screw on the other end and it has these two sliding sleeves and they basically went through here and here and that's how they mounted in there and the new system with the piston, which is right here, again, is mounted to that plate that I showed you earlier, and it's just two screws going into the nuts that are in that plate. So I actually think it's an improved system and it's much easier to get this on than this with the double Phillips. And there was that little screwdriver trick that I'll show you here in a second to mount the original Ultrex mount on. As those of you who follow my channel know, I like to have something for everyone. And I know the majority of people are not going to have the Ultrex with the Mega 360 and the Mega Live and the Target Lock and all of that. But there's tons and tons of you that are going to 
use the Minn Kota Ultrax. So here is the piston here, and these are the two sleeves. And the problem is those sleeves are hard to hold in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I put that sleeve on it. Then I line up the gas spring, and then I just gotta get everything lined up. And I'm gonna take that other one. So now you can see that my hands are free and that's held in place. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a screw here and there's a screw here and they are separate and it's got a little bit of blue Loctite on, you can see. So now what you need to do is you need to get everything aligned and if you're by yourself and the pistons dropping, it, it's a pain. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna just try and hold that in place and I'm gonna gradually get it so that oh, I did it from the wrong side but that's part of it so we'll switch it to the other it's side. been a while since I rigged up this old Ultrex uh, mount with the gas spring so I didn't have the manual and I was just doing this from memory so anyways uh, so this pin only goes in the one side so now I can see the tip of my screwdriver here and I'm just gonna push that in there. And so now it's caught. And I'm just gradually withdrawing the screwdriver. So the screwdriver is coming out as the pin is going in. And now I just need to get it into the other one. And then I take the other screw and then I just put it in and tighten it up. And that is a huge time saving trick. So I just wanted to make sure you clearly understood that uh, this is a much easier way of doing the installation of the gas spring. And the new bracket is even easier because like I say, it just has two screws here. You just push the plate up from underneath here and it locks in and it's very simple. So either way, you know how to do either Ultrex now mount. The piston on the new mount is about six inches long. You can see here that the gas spring is a good inch anyways. It's a substantial piston. The piston on the old mount was basically five inches, so it is shorter than the one on the new mount. The gas spring on the old mount is a noticeably smaller diameter. I hope you enjoyed this video on the new Minn Kota Ultrex accessory mount, which is for 45 and 52 inch shaft trolling motors. And it is going to make life definitely easier moving forward. And I am excited about getting it on the water. And as you've seen in the video, this lift assist gas spring is heavier duty and is going to make stowing and deploying of the target lock with the Mega Live, the Mega 360, and the Ultrex much easier. And anything to make our lives easier is always a welcomed addition. So thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video and find it enjoyable or helpful, a like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. Take care and bye for now.